I'm going to be showing you exactly how to use the browser in FL Studio. This video is a clip from a longer video I did called the ABCs of FL Studio, where I gave extremely simple tutorials for beginners on how to use everything from A to Z in FL Studio. <laughs> so the browser is basically your hub for all your samples. It can be used for other things, but that's mainly what you're going to be using it for. So first, let me show you how to get your samples in there. If you go to Options, Audio Settings, and then you go to File, you'll see that you can choose folders to be placed into your browser. So you click this folder icon to add a new folder. Now that has been added. So now if you go back to the browser, boom, you have your packs in there. And that's pretty much all you need to know except for the search feature. The search feature is amazing. I'm so glad I felt so you added this. Just let's say you want a kick. Just you just type in kick and then every pack you have with kicks in it will pop up. And you can just endlessly look for kicks until everybody you know is dead. Another important thing about the browser is if you go to the top here, you can go to project and then you can see all the effects you have, you can see all your patterns the history of everything that you've done. And then if you go to plugins, this is where you've installed all of your plugins. And if you want a tutorial on how to install plugins, I got you. And then library is the new FL Cloud thing, which I haven't really messed with a lot. That's it, that's it. That's how you use the browser in FL Studio. Once again, this is part of a bigger series called the ABCs of FL Studio. If you'd like to see that video, check the link in the description. Have a good one.